Hey, Kings and Dragons, Dragon King 551, and we are back with another NFL Giants video. You guys can see that in the back there. Not my Michigan one. Obviously, that one will be coming out later. That is the basketball breakdown video. So for this Giants end of the season review video, basically, guys, this is about the New York football Giants. The Jets imploded on themselves. Sadly, they did not make the playoffs. But I do want to talk about it. A lot of Giants fans are saying, um, I saw on some live accounts saying you should be nothing should be nothing to be proud of. Um, still got a lot of work and stuff. Great season, but still nothing to be proud of. In my retrospect, I'm a guy that um looks for a bright side in this um in this scenario. And for me to say that there's nothing to be happy for is completely a wrong assessment due to the fact that. The Giants have not won a playoff game since 2012. Let that sink in. It's been 11 years since they won a playoff game, and they finally got a playoff game. Yes, they made the playoffs in 2016, but they have not. That has been seven years since they made the playoffs. So great that they made the playoffs again, but they have not won a playoff game since 2012 when they went on their run um, to the Super Bowl and beat Tom Brady. So to say that it, you shouldn't be proud of your team is completely wrong. I, I'm I'm ecstatic and stuff. And now Coach Brian Debo, I think he should be Coach of the Year because he turned that season around. He turned that team what Coach Joe Judge, Ben McAdoo, and all these other head coaches that we had prior couldn't do in one season. He turned that team from being a terrible team to a pretty solid team to get into the playoffs and have a playoff berth and also win against the Minnesota Vikings that knocked the Giants off in the regular season weeks prior in the first week of December on, uh, or I'm sorry, the last week of December um, on Christmas Eve and knock them off. And then weeks later, we play them again and we win a close game and we won. So for anyone to say that the Giants season was not great or to say there's nothing to be happy of is completely wrong. To finish the season with a playoff record and then with a playoff win to go 10 and 7 or finish at 10 and 8 last night to the Philadelphia Eagles in a shell shock terrible terrible game losing 38 to 7, then you know it is what it is. But I am going to talk about that game. This game reminds me of these boys right here, the Michigan Wolverines. You know why? Because in 2021, a similar scenario happened. No, the game was not a blowout against MSU. However, they did have 15 missed holding calls on MSU. The refs did admit that on an Instagram post and in the media that they have to do better and play better. And if you look at that Giants-Eagles game, Holding, 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 holding. There was not a single flag on the Eagles' whole entire offensive line. Even um, Thibodeau says, he's effing holding me, and he was on one of those plays. So even the, one of the Giants' defensive players is complaining. There should have been 30 holding calls, and there should have been, it should have been first and 98, Okay by how many holding calls there were in that game that they didn't call. I don't like scenarios where they let them play in the playoffs and don't call holds, but as soon as the championship game is played, they start calling those flags. I've seen it in scenarios where a Viking guy pushed off, um, Kyle Rudolph pushed off a Saints defender to beat them, and obviously they lost. The Niners... Um, went to the Super Bowl against the Chiefs that year, and George Kittle did exactly the same thing. They call it in that play, and it's like, are you kidding me? Call it fair. Why do you let them play and stuff? And that's the problem with this whole entire um, thing where people have, oh, my God, it's scripted because of this and that, and, you know, to a certain degree, I, I agree with them. I mean, it's a little ridiculous, but what do you guys think? I mean, for me, I think the Giants... End of the season review. I think they did very well. Go ten and seven, winning a playoff game. You know, 
nine and eight in the regular season, ten and ten and eight in the um well nine, seven, and one. I mean, really, they should have been 10, 10 and six, or uh, I'm sorry, they should have, they really should have been ten and seven going in, and then they would have been eleven and seven, uh, eleven and eight ending the season. But it is what it is. So you guys, let me know. What do you think? Do you think the Mich- uh Do you think I'm sorry, not the Michigan Wolverines? Do you think the New York Giants come back better? Do you think like they look for a different quarterback? Is that the scenario? Is Jones not that great? It, um after having a one good season, is he going to decline again? Is it because the receivers are not healthy and they got to get better separation? Just like JJ McCarthy's wide receivers, you have to get separation and they're not doing that. I think it's definitely the defense is the problem. I think we have to improve on our defensive side. If we can do that, our offensive side definitely um, needs to improve ever so slightly. Evan Neal is struggling a little bit, but I think he'll improve just like Andrew Thomas has. But with the year coming next year, I think that the Giants will be better. I think that we can definitely win more regular season games and get a higher seeding so we don't have to play um, our conference rival. But we'll see what happens. But that's all I have to say, guys. So until next time, guys, don't forget to stay radical. I'll see you in the next one.